My name is Rochelle, this is my workshop, but it's not really giving Rochelle. So today I wanna to make it over so it's a little more me. In a workshop, I feel like there's always room for a little bit of pegboard. Don't look at the camera. It's not right. So it's high time that we get all of this stuff off of all of these tables and out of their bins. I get to build a bunch of stuff to give this workshop a functional and aesthetic makeover. We are here in my basement and I am so lucky to have all of this space where I get to work on DIY projects, which is a passion of mine you might have noticed. It's actually got a lot of organization going on, but there are some things that were never quite finished. And after working in it like this for a little bit, there are a couple things I'd love to change. I have been loving the French cleat system for organizing my tools and supplies, but I need even more. I don't at the moment have a great system in place for dust collection, which is super important in a workshop. So I do have a build in mind for that, in addition to so many other upgrades I would like to make. Also, I just don't really know about this blue color. It's not really me. And I know just the girls who can help me narrow down the choices and figure out a design and I think one of them might be here now. <laughs> Rochelle, I'm so excited to finally be at your house. Dude, I'm so excited to have you here. <laughs> I know, it's been a long time coming. I'm like you guys, I've been seeing the videos and I'm like, what? Where is this place? I need to see it. Now I'm seeing it. I'm excited to see the before and then the, the reveal, the after. Yeah, there's, you know, there's, it's a good space. Mm-hmm. It just needs a zhuzh. A little, yeah, that's <laughs> exactly what it needs, a zhuzh. <laughs> so Becky is expecting our call to talk design, but in the meantime, is there anything I can help you with? I was thinking maybe we take the stuff and the shelves off of this wall just to have a better idea of what's going on here. Yeah. Because I think this is gonna be a focus wall for and this it, workshop. And this won't be here anymore. This won't be here anymore. Okay. You can see the end grain cutting board that I made. It's so hot. In my one bedroom apartment with a circular saw and a sander. Iconic. I'm kind of proud. Yeah, you should be. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Hi. Okay, so we're here in the space. We've cleared out this wall, which looks amazing, but let's get into design. Tell us your thoughts. I know you already have thoughts. I have thoughts. Because uh, one of the first things that I got for this space was actually some curtains to help deal with the dust control situation that I've got going on here. Mm -hmm. And they happen to be these Ikea curtains that are um, quite inexpensive. They're actually made of what I think is a really good fabric for a, a function like this because I don't yeah. think they're going to hang on to the dust. Right. Sometimes function over form, right? <laughs> We have blue and we're thinking pink. I mean, there's so many different pinks, Rochelle. Yeah. <laughs> Is the iPad one of them? Is that the... the I mean, <laughs> actually? <laughs> yeah. Should I show you the wallpaper I fell in love with? Yes, please. I didn't want to go too like delicate, but Ooh. I love me a floral. <laughs> I like whatever like almost like peachy tone is in that one rose. This one? This that one? one? Yeah. Rochelle's like, I said pink, not peach. <laughs> if we are leaning into this very colorful workshop and like it feels very color blocky, like this wall is this, this wall is this, like it's not the worst to do more, you know? I think you go brighter on the pink because I agree, that feels more you. And then maybe the green goes like slightly more like lighter slash, slash like olive branchy. Like an olive yeah. branch, like you're extending an olive branch or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm extending the olive branch and hoping you'll accept my proposition to go with olive branch. Not Rochelle choosing the same pink <laughs> that she already has. Same green and the same pink? I mean, I like what I like. I guess so. <laughs> you want me to do it right under I'm the I'm dead. <laughs> I cannot wait to see what you do with it. So many fun colors, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be such a big change. I'm excited. Thank you so much. Good luck. Yeah. You got this. I got this. This is the overall vibe I'm going for. Lots of color and lots of functional storage, and also storage that's hidden. Let me take you through the plan for the space. First, I wanna paint the floor and the walls to really freshen it up. I wanna leave the work tables and the table saw pretty much where they are, but move the shelving system and move the planer to improve the flow of the space. I'm gonna install those blue curtains to section off the workshop from the rest of the basement, as well as to cover the visual clutter of the shelving system. I wanna build a dust collection cart, a repurposed broom closet, and a cart for my miter saws. 
Finally, a countertop with storage and sliding doors underneath, and a whole wall of all my matching power tools on French cleats above it. I'm gonna have my work cut out for me. Get it? Cut out for me, ha <laughs> ha! Fresh and so clean, clean. So fresh and so clean. <coughs> oh, I got the hiccups. Looks great. <laughs> There's more work to do. So the reason I get to have access to this big, beautiful space to work on all of these DIY projects is because I do live and share the space with my mother. And I absolutely want to include her on, you know, decisions about functionality and especially about how it's gonna end up looking in the end. Now, she's not somebody who's comfortable on camera, so you're not gonna see her in this video. <laughs> and when it comes to decor, um, we actually have a very similar aesthetic, so that really helps. But yeah, it did take a little bit of a little bit of trial and error here to narrow it down to the colors we wanted to go with. But unfortunately, I can't get right into that because A, that, that's a lot of intense swatching of different colors. And also, this blue is a very, it's not subtle. <laughs> we definitely want to go in with a primer to kind of hide all the stuff that we were doing. So in painting, there is this term called blocking, which is basically what happens when two like freshly painted surfaces stick together. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about this in sort of the same respect because I put these cleats up on this wall when it was pretty freshly painted and the screws are all out and they're not coming off. Beware of attaching things to freshly painted surfaces. We might have some patching to do after all. Ooh! Whenever possible, you wanna go over your new patches with primer, and that's to avoid something called flashing, which is when you put your coat of paint over and you can see the difference between the color that's on the patch and the color that's on the wall. Sometimes it just, you know, catches the light differently and then you can see it, you know what I mean? So like feather the edges out so you don't have a harsh line. I know what you're thinking. It looks exactly the same as what we just painted over. But I promise you it's not. <laughs> I promise you it's gonna dry differently. The last one was electric. And I think this one is gonna dry a little bit more subtle, a little bit less yellow, and a whole lot better. It's not the same. It's not, it's not the same. Cause it's not the same. Are you ready for the second color? Because while the green is indeed bold, slightly anticlimactic as a reveal, given how similar it is to the original color, similar, but it's not the same. <laughs> this is kind of the showstopper. It's actually exactly the same color that we have in our living room. And I love it. I love it. It's called Flamingo Dream. Oh my God! <laughs> That's so pretty. So what do you guys think? I think it's gorgeous. I think it's a gorgeous color. I feel gorgeous in it. I can't wait to do DIY projects surrounded by pink. Also, I've always wanted to have colored trim somewhere, so I may have color blocked the trim down here because why not? It's fun and it adds to this whole tone on tone vibe I'm going for. What are we gonna do now? Curtains, 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 curtains. Let's do curtains. So Ikea sells these blackout curtains for actually really inexpensive. And bonus, <laughs> we were able to get four curtain panels from as is. That's why you should always check as is first. Even though these curtains are not the color I would have chosen, I think they're a really great option because they're actually made out of recycled plastic, which is very cool. And it gives us this texture that I think is gonna be perfect for not collecting dust. And bonus, Ikea says that you do not actually have to hem this laminated fabric. So I think all I really need to do is cut it to length once it's up. So the main reason that we put this curtain up is for dust control, but the absolute added benefit is like when this area here is 
absolute chaos, you can just pull the curtain. You don't see the mess. Next, I need to build a cart for my desk collection system. I referenced a few different YouTube videos linked below to figure out which products to get and the style of cart I wanted to go with. So I've put a powerful wet dry vacuum on one side of the cart and that gets attached to a cyclone style dust separator on the other side. The vacuum provides the suction and the separator collects most of the larger sawdust into a bucket, which helps keep the vacuum filter clean and running at top efficiency. We have put these Ivar shelves back up in this room and we also cut down a couple of the original shelves we had the paint on and put some paint back there. And I think what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna take the other curtain track and panels that we have and run it along this joist here. And then that way we're gonna get curtains covering the majority of the things that we don't wanna get dusty, but also the things that are adding a lot of visual clutter. Ignore the table, there's a lot of actual clutter here for the moment. So I think I'm just gonna tidy up all of my tools and call it a night, cause it has been a day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So the basement is definitely still a mess. Uh, the mess has just been moved elsewhere so that I can have a place to work. <laughs> so I have put my French cleats back up where they originally were and I have every intention of adding more. And so we did take down all of the pegboard that was in the basement, and honestly, I can't bring myself to get rid of all of it. I feel like even though I'm in love with this French cleat system, there will always be a time in my life when I want to have a little bit of pegboard around. So I've actually got three separate pegboards going on here. None of them are the right size for where I wanna put them now. I was thinking about maybe painting them the same color as the walls that they're going on so that they kind of camouflage a little bit better. So another fun project I wanted to do in this workshop was to have some sort of broom closet here at the entrance where I could, in fact, keep the broom, but also throw a sweater if I was wearing one and wanted to take it off, maybe keep my apron, a pair of work shoes when I wander down here in slippers at all hours of the day. And then I realized that maybe I could just work with what we already have. Because this was a part of the whole Ivar unit that was across this wall originally. And I thought this was a great opportunity to maybe hack this into the cabinet of my dreams. Wow, sounds hyperbolic, but. So I went ahead and cut just a piece of scrap plywood that I had to the inside measurements here and added a couple of pocket holes so that I can attach this here to here and then screw directly into my studs in this back wall because there was unfortunately not great stud placement for these pieces here. I got the inspiration for this cabinet from a YouTube video on Handmade Home and basically I just did the same thing she did. I cut some eighth inch MDF sheets down for the side pieces of the cabinet and used the same material to cut up my decorative trim pieces. I'm not usually a lover of pill shaped decor, but after seeing this inspo pick, I decided I wanted to make more work for myself and cut out arch shaped trim for the top and bottom of the doors. Luckily, this material is thin enough that I can use my scroll saw and leave my arch nemesis, the jigsaw, on the shelf. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's not bad. I am happy. I'm happy with that shape. <laughs> but I have no desire to be that precise again. So I'm actually gonna use the router with a flush trim bit. So I'm gonna do that outside because that's messy as heck. So we have the green on green at the door. I'm thinking I want to add a little more pink to the space, but a little bit darker. So in the wallpaper, there is sort of a deeper, more reddish hue to some of the berries I think it is. Now mind you, I am not a fan of decorating with red. So I definitely want to start with a base of pink, but then maybe add a little bit of red to deepen it and bring it closer 
to the tone that's in the wallpaper. As always, with custom colors you make, make sure you make enough for the entire project because we will not be able to recreate this 100%. I'm so happy with how the color turned out. I think it looks beautiful. I don't know what it looks like on camera, but it's not red. This color is not red, I assure you. So I did not actually forget to paint the other side of these doors. This is actually where the wallpaper is gonna go and then the trim pieces that we cut out and painted. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I already had these hinges from another project, so I'm gonna reuse them, and bonus, this style hinge allows for some wood to show through, which I think will be a cool accent on this cabinet. Make sure you secure this Ivar shelf to the wall, preferably into a stud, because with the doors on, it is front heavy. I mean, ah, not perfect, but not bad for a basement cabinet. Now it's time to add more French cleat storage, because at this point, you could call me obsessed. So my original plan was to build out some sort of shelving system here that would house not only my rolling toolbox, but a lot of the other random tools that I have behind sliding doors, much like we did in the storage room at the office. However, my basement floor is horrendously uneven. The more I think about it, the more I don't think sliding doors is a viable option. So I've been doing some thinking as to what we could do instead. I do, hi, <laughs> she didn't come fast. Hello. <laughs> so I have been thinking about how effective those blue curtains were. I actually do have another panel left and a little bit of curtain track. Going, going back? Can I get a headbutt? Oh, thank you. Just like in a similar fashion to what we did in the paint room where we cut these shelves a little bit shorter so we could put the pegboard above it, I wanna cut one shelf in half and that actually still leaves me space to roll this under the counter, put a curtain corresponding blue like we've got here and then the counter on top. So while I do have some of the building blocks for doing this and I am gonna get started right now, I also think I need to pick up a couple things from Ikea, which I'm not mad about because it would honestly be nice to get out of this basement for a little while. That's kind of nice. And then I can't really have plants down there. This one I don't see on display anywhere, but that's kind of a that's kind of a nice green. I don't know. It says it's a kitchen rug, but like you get you get dirty in the kitchen. Yep. Maybe I'll try both. Did I say I couldn't have plants? <laughs> well, okay, maybe not real plants. I got what I needed from Ikea. I am feeling refreshed and ready to finish this countertop shelving situation. Decided that the easiest thing to do would be to mount the countertop on these brackets that we already had. Before I attach the countertop to the brackets, I am making a cutout so I can place an outlet on top for super accessible power. Great, no do. No, 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 no. I know you want the birds. The hunter in you wants to go outside, eh? Little lady, the one that makes me crazy. It's been fun for me to say this, but it's coming from the heart. And I said, no, if I never see you again, I guess no, I know, I know. Just know that I want you back. 
To finish this up, it's time to add the very same track system and curtains to this countertop as well. It's working, it's concealing the shelving. So the French cleat hanging system here in my workshop consists of 45 degree angles that are mounted here on the wall and then a corresponding piece that gets put on the back of every tool holder that I make. So the tool holder just slips right on to the French cleat there and you can just pop your tool wherever you like on the wall. We threw these up the other day and I wanna put another wall of French cleats over where I work at the work table. When I go over to the table saw, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut strips that are five inches wide and then all I have to do is set my saw at a 45 degree angle and cut those strips right down the middle resulting in my two corresponding 45s. Now I can go ahead and mount all of these strips on the wall and use other pieces of 45 degree angle wood that I've cut to go on the back of my tool holders. Okay, it's time to make one last big push to get everything I want done in this workshop. Things I wanted to accomplish today. I had this little gray unit that had like uh, casters and furniture feet and stuff in it. I still like it, but the gray does not really have a place in this new colorful workshop. So normally with metal, I would go in with a spray primer first and then go in with the color, but ain't nobody got time for that today. <laughs> so I wanted to try uh, a product that says direct to metal. Can you see that? Direct to metal. The other thing I wanted to spray paint is this clock that I got secondhand off of Marketplace. I really like it. It's quite big. There's my hand for reference. Um, but the problem is it's red and I feel like you, you know how I feel about red. So I had this kind of hunter green spray paint that I thought might look kind of cool and play with the different tones of green that we've got going on. The numbers are actually on the outside of the plastic. So I'm thinking I can just pull this apart and spray paint just this red part. But the forecast kind of calls for rain today. I've got my spray tents set up <laughs> with their entrances under the deck. So hopefully if it does start to downpour, we'll be somewhat safe. I hope this works. I hope this works because I've spent far too much time priming metal things in my life. Well, the yellow is definitely gonna need <laughs> a ton of coats, which means I think I'm gonna need a second can for sure. The green is looking a little bit better. Don't worry about the white part. I have plans for that too, but uh, it's a little bit darker <laughs> than I kind of remember it, but um, honestly, I think it's gonna work. So I forgot to mention that in addition to mounting my pegboards the other day, I threw together this mobile miter saw cart with extendable wings that is basically the same thing that I did at the office. Basically all I did was loosely follow a tutorial that I found on YouTube, uh, which is linked below. It's on wheels. Everything should be on wheels in the workshop so you can move it around. That's my tip of the day. Everything on casters. So it's high time that we get all this stuff off of all of these tables and out of their bins. So I'm just gonna have a French cleat tool holder making spree, if you will. I figured this style of poster frame would be a cool way to display those poster prints I got at Ikea. And I have a couple boards of Aphromosia, that's an exotic hardwood, that I originally bought for a different abandoned project that I could use for this. So I can make a few frames entirely out of materials I already have. I love it when I can do that. So it rained literally all day. Did that stop me from continuing to spray paint the unit? No. Did that mean that I got kind of an awful finish? Yes. The spray paint, I don't know. I'm sure the spray paint is fine. I just don't have the patience for spray painting. I don't. I'm not that kind of girl. Ay, 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 ay. I thought it might look nice to add a little whimsy to the air filtration unit I installed, and I still had enough paper left to do a pretty new background for the clock. How cute is this? Having the wallpaper all around will help tie the whole space together. Now, time for the final touches. I 
I am a little nervous about what Kelsey and Becky are gonna think, so it's time to bring them in to show them how it all turned out. So did you look at pictures of what it, <laughs> yeah, what it was we were, before? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember what it looked like before? Yes. <laughs> Ready? We never yeah. get this. I know. Ever. I never get this. It's so fun. Ever. Okay. Um, so on the count of three, open your eyes. One, two, three. Oh my god! <laughs> So nice! Oh, I love it. It's a little bit different. You did the from wallpaper court. behind the clock. Oh, I did. I love that. <laughs> so I was like, how can we get more? Like, let's spread it. I love that you kept the wood wall. Yeah. You made it more wood. Oh I love putting a little lamp anywhere that you can. Yeah. yeah. Cabinet. There's my ah. cabinet. I really wanted a broom closet. There you have it. This looks sick. I love this pink color. Are you uh, happy with the color choices? I'm so happy. I'm so happy. This is. It's like a TV set in here. <laughs> it really does feel like it. Like you could have yeah, yeah. a workshop yeah. show. <laughs> yeah. We got you a matching bouquet. Oh my god, you to didn't. your wallpaper. That is gorgeous. Oh my god, guys. Those are like the prettiest flowers I've ever seen. So pretty. Every, every finished room needs a bouquet. Yeah. Oh my god. Even a workshop. <laughs> Even a workshop. <laughs> I have to say it. This might be better than our workshop. Is it? it? I think it is. <laughs> like, I feel so creative down here. You have no idea. <sighs> Perfect. A new space <laughs> will do that to you. Yeah. Good job. Oh my god. Thank so you so much. Proud. So proud. So <laughs> proud. Oh my God, that was so much work, but I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. I was able to repurpose a lot of the storage solutions that we already had, give some secondhand items a new lease on life, and build a lot of custom organization into the workspace. This workshop turned out so pretty and so me. There's so much more life and fun in the space. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of the future projects we'll take on. See you next time.